Look, I'm just gonna level with you all. I'm running out of builds <laughs> to do in this game. There, There is... I'm not gonna say there's not enough content in the game, but for, for where it's at right now, um... I mean, look, there's probably just not enough content in the game to, to merit a, a really ridiculously long series on tarot cards. I feel, I feel weird because obviously you all enjoy it a lot. <laughs> and I thus then feel obligated in some way, shape, or form to play it ad nauseum. Um, but I'm, I'm running out of, I'm running out of real estate. I'm just going to be honest with you. We, we got to think about what we want to do here. Um... There's, there's two builds in my head. I think I'm going to start by taking some corn. I'm not going to tell you what the builds are. <laughs> not because I'm, I'm a little, you know, a little, little butthole who's trying to keep you in the dark. But, I mean, what if I, I just straight up don't get the, uh, the things required for me to make the build work, you know? Then, then I look a little bit strange because... I could be like, we're going for this today, and then the game just says, nope, I don't, I don't necessarily think that you are going to go for that today. Uh, and then I find myself in a really peculiar position. I'm going to take some chickens. That's a lot of chickens, actually. 11 chickens is uh, an absolutely alarming number of chickens. The corn immediately, I mean, that should have been a bit of a, a tipping point to you that I was going to maybe mess around with some chickens today. Uh, as chickens require corn as a, a viable food source. We are going to need some medium fences as well. More wheat is not intriguing to me. I'm really just looking for... Uh, honestly, fuel peanuts is not a bad idea either. Yeah, you know what? I actually like this idea. Give me, give me some fuel peanuts too. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna put an island down here for, for fuel peanuts. Um, my chickens can start to go here, and, and we'll just get them beginning to produce. We're, we're running out of water, okay, but this is my, my way to resolve that, is those fuel peanuts are going to turn... I really thought they were going to turn those... Do, do fuel peanuts don't, uh... Just regular peanuts. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll get some regular peanuts too, uh, and then we'll be... We'll be in good enough shape there. Put you there for now. What do we got? Pasteurizer is not horrible. The fuel tank is not needed. Melter would turn... The corn into popcorn? It's a, it's a good investment in the future, to be honest with you. Um, I am going to probably try to get a peanut in order to uh, make this all happen. But let's put this here for right now. That's going to get the corn going good. We, we are, like, out of resources on this stuff. But the popcorn is going to... That's going to propel us forward a little bit here. So that's good. All this is very good. You put that in there. You're gaining a little bit more fuel than you're you're losing <laughs> very little all things considered but but enough enough um yeah the regular peanuts solves a lot of issues because now you guys are peanut cows and you're consuming my fuel instead and then frankly i'll do something weird like yeah, like like this. How how does uh how how does peanut butter get made in this game? That's something that I wanna I wanna take a look at. So peanuts are used. It's crusher into melter. If we can just get a crusher on here, we we have a little bit of a peanut butter setup, which I think would be pretty good. This is my my reroll time though. Water chickens are good enough. Water is still a, a little bit of a, a dilemma for me. We're, we're fine on money. Th that's the problem is there's really, there's never any fear <laughs> in me about uh, running out of anything. We will be just fine. Only one tree per island? I don't think so. This is an amazing item, um, especially if we can get some grapes going. And I want to get grapes going at some point. Uh, it's something that I, I just haven't done. So Crusher's huge. Crusher goes uh, on here. That should now make peanut butter, which is going to sell for, I mean, it's going to sell like hotcakes. Going to be very, very good. 
and we're all lined up with these chickens for for a good time in the future uh there goes the peanut butter and ladies and gentlemen i mean 492 on peanut butter daily we're in great shape immediately really not concerned the pasteurizer turns milk into this i believe i'm making scalded milk right now which is fine i i'm i'm gonna tell you i actually don't care at all what the cows are doing <laughs> they they hold no value to me plus one production plus one water cost i think i just don't care about that really water cows are lovely honestly they they are lovely they're just one of those things where you, you can put them on like an island here and save yourself a lot of resources in the future. Give me more fuel peanuts. We're gonna keep planting these here in order to keep up with our fuel production. And then just a reminder, so fuel peanuts, three fuel for every production gives fuel peanuts. Those can go into a biofuel generator. Something that we'll want to consider here soon possibly um watery trees are good but i eh, you know what they are pretty good they are pretty good and we're losing corn so realistically a watery tree like here you can turn on nerd mode i suppose and, and see see what we're dealing with yeah so like one more watery tree over here helps us so you do that there. Now you guys are all taken care of. Our water production is through the roof, which is, that was never really a concern, to be honest. We're gonna need energy. You produce 40. We could then set up a, a sunflower uh, farm with the solar panels. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm gonna skirt around it for right now. If fed to a chicken, it gives electric egg. Electric egg goes into a bird nest i really don't want to make electric eggs okay i do think that more corn would be useful we're gonna need a medium fence in the future um yeah I, that's fine <laughs> that's fine i suppose uh i'll go medium fence here and then my intention is a water cow goes in here our water production is now like absolutely insane uh, and then I can continue to dump fuel peanuts down here. Fuel's looking good. The fuel infuser makes uh, islands use fuel instead of water. I think that realistically, this is actually one of the worst items in the game. But who knows? I could be wrong. King crab. Okay. Doubles the same island crab production. Costs a lot of water. Gives a king crab leg. I'm taking you. <laughs> to those of you that guessed he's going to mess around with crabs today, you you would be correct. I intend on messing around with crabs today. Maybe it's going to go horrible, okay? But I think it may go just fine. I think it may go just fine. In order for us to mess around with the crabs, I'm going to need regular crabs. I also think that maybe this fisherman hut is going to be something we want to mess around with in the future as well, but I'm going to chill on that. What, what do I want, man? I'm going to need the chickens because they the, the whole reason why I want the chickens is um, you eat eggs, right? So I can have you produce a lot by having a bunch of chickens producing eggs, right? That's that's the that's the trick. So more chickens will be good, but I, I can't make that happen yet. A fuel cow produces fuel equivalent to the total fuel of adjacent places. We're going to need the fuel, <laughs> I think. This is fine, we can take that. We're, we're gonna need the fuel in order to... Honestly, you could maybe go for a fuel infuser at some point. Um, I know I just said that it's it's terrible. But making, although I don't know, the crops aren't doing any water anyway. I, I think I'm maybe jumping jumping the gun a little on this one. Watery trees are not useful. None, none of this is, is useful. I mean, frankly, give me the damn fuel cows. I'm going to make sure that I have... Why did your production drop? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, that, that, that's fine. I, I simply don't understand, but that's okay. More corn is okay. I don't really need it, though. 
13 grapes. Okay, um, let's, let, let's mess around with this. I haven't done anything with grapes. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click that twice. I haven't done anything with grapes, and I think that this, this may be a good run. Since we have the Dionysus rights, might be a good run for us to mess around with grapes. Electric carrots produce energy. Could be good. I, I just would rather do other things, though. <laughs> Cocoa trees are not needed in the journey that I am going down. More, more peanuts are okay. I mean, it's really just more peanut butter at that point. I guess you can do it. It's not hurting anybody to, to just ramp up the, the peanut butter production. You're doing completely fine on, on your uh, monetary investment on this run. Let's get these peanuts in here. They're producing, I mean, just an alarming amount of peanut butter when you're looking at it. Sugar cane not needed, another king crab. Okay, okay, that's fine. Doubles the same island crab production. It's it's gonna be built out over here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna prepare us now for the the looming threat of the of the crabs to come. Just, just take a look at the crab again. Let's plan this out. Your food is fish, though. Your food is fish. <laughs> Wait a minute. But you eat every egg produced on adjacent islands. Plus one production per egg produced in adjacent islands. Okay. So you need to be next to a fisherman. Right? Which means, I mean, we've, we frankly, we need so much land, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Which you're probably like looking at this going, Tyler, what, what the frick are you doing, brother? Just don't worry about it yet, okay? Don't worry about it yet. Uh, I'll be able to, to help you understand in the future. Water cows are not needed. A juicer is needed for the grapes. So that's fine. Like I have to build another area for this now. You can go here. Everything's fine. Look, I understand some of you are looking at this going, he's he's lost his magic touch. I have not lost anything. Put this right here. That's going to start juicing up the, the damn wine. Then I think you ferment the wine after that. And then that... We, we need the fermenter, and then that just continues to, to flow. I need fences, okay? Fences is the next big, big investment. Perfect. 15 more grapes, don't get it twisted. Also very valuable to me. Okay. Next on the list, this grape can go over here. You're going to put a medium fence here. I maybe have jumped the gun on this a little bit. It's a medium fence here, medium fence here. Both of these are going to hold crabs as time goes on. Then you will have a fisherman here. Right? So, king crab. You use 30 water. It's a lot, man. It's a lot of water. I need crabs. I need fisherman. Okay. Two times to all structures is beautiful. It's a, a perfect item for me. Fisherman, another king crab can go right here. It's just duping the production of these guys. You're now making crabs. How the hell did I get a crab? <laughs> Does the king crab make crabs? Doubles crab production? I have no clue how I got this crab, but that's okay. It's this. If two animals of the same group are on the same island, get a card of the cheapest one. So this is now more production per crab. Okay. Um, you're producing 203 big ones. That's pretty good. This is now going to be more chickens up here. And we want this to be chickens. In order for this to pop. And then technically this is going to be chickens. <laughs> just, just go with it. Okay, just go with it. Everything's going to be fine. This is your fisherman hut. You should be producing, I know it doesn't say anything, but you should be producing a lot of fish, okay? You should be producing a bunch of them. There's my fermenter. 
yeah, we're producing 26 fish. We're also producing a lot of crab legs, and that's that's the ticket. So the fermenter... Why, why do I have so many cards in my inventory right now? This is going absolutely absurd, the number of cards. We can also, I suppose, put a couple more peanuts down. I'm looking at our amount of money, okay? It looks a little... It looks a little dicey. Oh, the crabs are just gonna flow, dude. They're just gonna flow. Fermenter goes right there. After we ferment the wine, what what happens next? So fermenter turns this into wine. That's it. It's just wine from there on out. Okay, that's good. <laughs> very, very pleased about that. Keep it going. More crabs. It's going to continue to hurt our water. Oh, it seems that maybe the fermenter uses energy. We'll, we'll resolve that here soon. You can see that our monetary value is now rising very, very rapidly. Which is exactly what we're looking for. Biofuel generator costs 40 energy. I don't need fuel. Um, I need a way to get energy. Barn to two times the production of animals. That's fine. We, we need a way to crank water, but a barn right here <laughs> goes insane. <laughs> it goes absolutely insane because now our egg production is much higher. The crabs are, are just going. We're producing 2,700 crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's unnecessary, okay? It's an unnecessary amount of crab legs. We definitely want to get some more king crabs into there. Then I think you need a lake to go here to kill the water cost of these guys. So the lake goes here. Water goes through the roof. We love that. Some more crabs in there. Like every turn you're just making more crabs. Blue wheat, if fed to a chicken, gives an electric egg. Okay. Plus one energy per adjacent sunflower. The giant sunflower is plus for every energy. We just need a better way to mess around with energy. Another fisherman's hut is not needed. I have to take the king crab. I'm a very simple guy. Just keep it keep it going for right now. Biofuel generator not needed. Engineer cow halves the resource cost. Who cares? Um, very, very irrelevant. The water cow, there's value there somewhere. I just don't know what it is. A crab is a waste. <laughs> We're just looking... It's probably like electric carrots, man. So give me... It's like expensive, all of this land, but it's it's going to be fine. We're going to do something like this. We'll put a water cow here on this island. Although the electric carrots don't even... Oh, no, they do take water. Okay. As soon as... The thing is, as soon as we get this flowing... And we get the, the proper amount of energy out of these uh, carrots. We, we should probably get some rabbits too. Um, I mean, honestly, here's, here's the play. You go rabbit. I really don't have a fence, huh? You would put a water cow in here and a rabbit in here. And then that goes kind of crazy. Plus five production for all things peanut. Turn all water surplus into wine. We don't need that. Give me that. King crab still useful. I can't see in my inventory. I got too much stuff, okay? I got too much frickin' stuff. It's fine. Just get rid of this. More grapes are valuable too. It's nice having this many options, I'll tell you that. Like, we, we get the ability to, to mess around with whatever we got like every, every we, we don't spend a lot of time re-rolling because everything's good <laughs> which is a it's a great scenario seven seven hundred ninety seven thousand we're, we're, we're doing okay we're doing quite okay for myself plus 30 production of no other sheep on same island makes black wool don't care i need a medium fence and then this is where our production 
is about to go through the roof is you give me that fence in a second. Fuel wheat doesn't matter. Barn doesn't really matter. Centrifuge also does not matter. Um, more electric carrots is completely fine. Where the hell's my fence, man? I know I have a fence. I just picked it up. Okay, you're back to, to give me more carrots. I'm not going to complain about it. I just need the fence. I mean, really, man, I just need the fence. I'm, I'm a simple guy. One, one fence goes a long way. I understand you're not really feeling it, but I I would happily implore you to give me this fence. Am I losing my mind? I definitely had a fence, right? Is it in here? Yeah, I have a fence. Why are you not drawing my, my damn fence? <laughs> it's, just, it's just will will not give me the fence if it's the last thing it, it damn does. Okay, we're gonna buy this land too, because I would love to get even more grapes going over there. The giant chicken was probably a good idea. Just just for kicks and giggles. We do need the water cow though, because you're gonna go here. After I inevitably get this fence down at some point this century. I, I'm telling you, dude, it doesn't exist. It actually just doesn't exist. You can put that there. There's the fence, okay. So you flow in, rabbit now goes in here. This is where you're gonna about to see your, your energy go through the roof. The funniest part about all of this is like our, um, our, our crab production is just carrying us on the other side of the map right now. <laughs> Grapes take no water, but take fuel and produce equivalent to the fuel surplus. Oh, <laughs> what the frick? Okay, why did everything just go insane? It's because of Dionysus. Three times production to grapes. Um, why did... Oh, because... <laughs> My crabs are producing 3,800 a piece. <laughs> something, something seems off here, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna ignore that for it. Okay, everything reset back to normal. I think something got a little, a little buggy in the matrix for a second. Imagine if it actually produced that much. Uh, nope. I just made. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. That was a two million round. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that seems that seems good to me. That seems pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, okay. We love that for me. Oh, dude, it's it's making it's making a lot of wine, uh, like a like an alarming amount of wine. Give me another king crab, please. Grapes go right here. I mean, you could probably set up another grape mixture, and this would continue to go pretty crazy. Me thinks. These tiny crabs I don't care about, but Mr. King Crab goes right there. You're all maxed out now. Okay. Uh, more chickens, right? More chickens. That's that's the next step. You can go up here. To be honest with you, I'm going to throw these cows in here as well. Oh, our water surplus is actually pretty down. We're, we're going to need to get some more water things flowing. Yeah, this is all going fine. Um... 48,000 from crab legs, 1,711,800 from wine. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> this sounds sounds about right, really. Um I just realized you did not need to be adjacent to this. I'm kind of stupid. I'm kind of stupid. Okay. Um look, we're going to win, so I'm going to give myself a ton of space out here. We have to make the the perfect crab setup. How do you make the perfect crab setup? You have to... You're already duping. I need more chickens. Okay. I could hold out for mega chicken. Oh, what is drunk chicken? Gives me an elixir egg. If it's hatched, I get an elixir slime. 40% chance of giving you a grape card every turn, but gives me an elixir. I, I just don't care. That's not as good as it sounds, everybody. 
Okay. So here's your fences. You will have a fence here, a fence here, and a fence here. Crabs are going to go in the middle one, surrounded by chickens. The chickens are going to be barned on all sides. The water production is, it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's, it's an absolute waking nightmare. You need the king crab. Okay. I don't know what the optimal, look, there's, there's an optimal king crab setup here. Double the same island production. There, there is, there's something you can do here that's, that's worth it. I think it's just dump a couple king crabs in and a couple not king crabs in. Okay. Another fisherman's hut is also fine. Look, you don't have to worry about money. We, we can buy, I'm basically corporate America buying plots of land that don't belong to me. Okay. Let's put our fisherman's hut right here. You should now be producing an alarming amount of fish. Yep, very good. It's exactly what we like to see. Now it's really just chickens. And it's not any chickens. I want big chickens, okay? I, I want big chickens. The gnome is cool too. Um, plus five production to adjacent islands crops. You're kind of sick over here with the grapes, okay? Like, right here, forming a place for the gnomes will go absolutely insane. Giant chicken. Just, just let me vibe for a little bit. Medium fence. All water surplus turns into wine. I really don't care about, but the flush is now... This is a great time for this. So, I need... Because you just gave me all these giant chickens, we're obviously going to make that go right now. Boom. 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 The water production is now completely screwed, but I'm going to put a lake right here. And that will resolve that. I think. Or you put a barn there and you crank the production even further. Um, I mean, that sounds more fun to me. It's obviously going to be bad in the short term. But just, just don't think about it. More giant chickens. Okay. Juicers we don't care about. Here's my fences. So you go right here. And then you go right here. You're gonna give me a gnome here soon. I mean, I can take even more gnomes. <laughs> this is... This is going to be a crazy amount, dude. More crabs is not needed. Water cows. Zero water cost to adjacent crops. That's really not the issue, though. <laughs> the issue is, uh... Too many animals. There's too many animals. Give me the barn. I know I should not do what I intend on doing, okay? These crabs are up to 1,400, by the way. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. You need not be concerned. I'm going to go... I don't need more barns. Another king crab is good. We can put a barn here. Water cost is now super dead. Don't worry about that. <laughs> if the crops die, the crops die. I'm actually not all that concerned. But this is obviously like clinical insanity, what we're doing. We could like just slam some water chickens in in a hope of, of kind of fixing some of this issue. <laughs> Every animal produces two times a turn. <laughs> Okay, yeah. That's that's funny. I'll, I'll give you that. That's hilarious. Another king crab. These are barns. These are barns. We're looking for... Big chicken? It's like big chicken, uh, king crabs. All of these are good. We're gonna put king crab in there. You're up to 1,600. 
1628. Let's let's fill you out with some regular crabs now. A peanut gnome? Everything in a two island range change production to peanuts. I do not want that. Although this could be this could be crazy. Plus one everything in a two island range, plus one production to the crops in a two island range for every peanut butter. But you're gonna make peanuts, so I I I actually really don't care about you. You're you're a waste to me. Now, these king crabs. I think I maybe just threw a gnome in there. Yeah, there's just a gnome chilling in there. Don't worry about the gnome, okay? He's just having a good time. He's just having a good time living his life. We need more chickens. I definitely need more water. Um, but just just don't worry about that for a little bit. I need a lake. That lake is very important. Lake goes here. Your water cost now decreases. Lake is already there. I, I can't I can't get any I, I suppose I could get a lake down here. Saves me some water. Now I just have to like literally put water everywhere in order to if I save that lake, it'll just produce more lakes at some point. Yeah, we can just put more in. Juicers we don't care about, but look at look at all these lakes. So each lake is 50 water, right? So I can I can kind of resolve that issue. I should have taken more gnomes actually. Uh, church is not needed. Watery trees are not needed. King crab not needed. I'll take the gnomes back though. These, these gnomes go absolutely crazy with the wine production over here. Like you, you have to realize that we are producing just an alarming amount over here. So I get my lakes back. We're going lake, lake, lake. Lake. We are in the positive on uh, water. It's a damn miracle, to say the least. More lakes are good. The chickens are going to continue to go crazy. You guys are producing 1,900 a turn. There's more lakes. 10% chance of getting soy. Who cares? Everything that produces water now produces energy. Absolutely not. I do not want any of these. I like actually simply do not want a singular one. Get, get your water in. I mean, look, we're, we're approaching the point where I am I am content. Got, like, no reason to mess around with any little bit of this. Water production is not needed. <laughs> it, it is just not needed. It's kind of a boring build, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, because there's, there's no, like... That, that factorio style synergy system, we don't have one. <laughs> like, it's it's just, it's just dumping in a crap load of chickens and then surrounding them around crabs. And the crazy part is I'm not even really all that sure that what we're doing is... Like, like I'm, I'm not even sure that what we're doing is not better than just building into the damn grapes, man. That That's where I'm at. Like, we're just spending all this time on chickens for what? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure it even matters. Take a take a quick look. What What is producing what? I mean, 311,000 from crab legs is pretty good. But then you look at the wine, that's 906,000. And you're like, yeah, okay. I mean, peanuts are producing 457,000. That's, that's an alarming amount, man. That's because we got peanut plants over here producing 11 per on each one. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. I'm with it, but it's a lot. Um, Easter Bunny is not needed. Give me... I, dude, I actually... None of this matters. <laughs> none of this matters, like, even a little bit. More grapes doesn't even matter. More chickens doesn't matter. We're, we're really looking for, for big chicken. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try to dupe the production of these guys again with another barn here. Um, king crabs were, were, out of, were out of space. But put, put in your, your giant chickens here. None of this matters. Just, just give me, give me more lakes. 
More more lakes is kind of my my ticket to success because it's keeping my my water up, which allows me to dump in. I really should not have put a lake here. I should have put another barn there, just so that I could produce the maximum amount of chickens possible. You're up to 4,500 on these crabs. It's just good. It's just good. Um, there's your barn just sitting in your inventory. You're gonna put him right here. You guys are up to 5,000 crab legs a turn. And it's still not enough, <laughs> is, is the wild part. Like, so, so many. An alarming amount, and it is still just not even close uh, to being relevant for me. Just continue to put your, your damn lakes in. You're definitely, like, the, the next break, I think, is end of game. Only one tree can be placed, who cares? 10 production to animals, they now consume fuel instead of water. Okay. Um, I'm producing 69,000 crab legs a turn. <laughs> okay, yeah. That sounds about right. That, that sounds about right. Each one of them is pre Oh my god, dude. Okay, we're making... I can't even read that number. That's over a million from crab legs every turn. It's only two million per turn. Which I can't lie, like, is good, don't get it twisted, but I feel like it could be better. Am I the only one that thinks that that could be better? I need some big chickens, man. Looking, looking for big chicken action. Don't know if you, you... There we go. Thank you. Uh, barns are, are not valuable at the current moment. There's my giant chicken. You're just gonna slip over to here. Slip over to there. Slip over to there. I need one more giant chicken. He's already sitting in my inventory, so who cares, right? Um, more lakes, because why not? The giant chickens have now filled every possible location. 13,000 on these crabs. How much are we producing every turn right now? Uh, two, two million ish. Yeah, I mean, dude, I think it's a good build. <laughs> Maybe that sounds stupid to, to just say that right here. But I do think it's a pretty good build. Um, we're, we're gonna put a fuel infuser down here in the, the bottom right. None of this matters. Why am I even rerolling, man? No, nothing in this life matters. These juicers don't matter. These king crabs don't matter. Just take another king crab. Why did it just give me chickens for that turn? Okay. Put these in. I'm now producing 5,700 fuel per turn. Which I think in turn, my water surplus does something. So I actually think that maybe that just... Did good things. Now it actually decreased our, our revenue by a lot. I have no clue how any of this works, man. Or maybe we just got even more. I... <laughs> you think I know? <laughs> I suppose my, my cost for production is 1,200. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pay that. Water surplus turns into wine. Okay, I win. <laughs> I just want to see how much wine we now produce and if it impacts my numbers that much i don't think it probably did um just kidding i now make seven million a turn <laughs> okay um you guys want to see if we can just crash the game by hitting this button really fast it's basically just like do this and then hit it and then pay and then do this and will it, will it crash i don't know we're, we're really testing the system. We're getting like 13,000 a day right now. 20 million a day. Chocolate bars are divided amongst the uh, animals. Unfortunately, I don't have any chocolate bars. I mean, just spamming this is oddly enjoyable. Oh no, the whole screen is fading out. What's going on, dude? When, when do you get items? Like, am I losing it? 
I thought that you got them when you uh, finished your your week and paid your debt. I guess not. Every animal eats popcorn as a primary food four times production. <laughs> okay. That that is a pretty valuable one. Um, but we would need way more corn. This is this seven million a turn. We have too many animals. We we could get more more corn, I suppose. What am I doing, dude? What 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 role does this serve in my life by doing this? I have no reason to produce this. Here. Fill fill out your corn. What, what am I broken as a human being? Give, give me more corn. Sunflowers? Why'd I take these garbage crops? I need a uh, I need a melter for the inevitable popcorn scenario we're we're building here. Oh, it's it's so laggy. <laughs> it's so laggy. 54 million do. Brother, I could lose. I'm not infinite, I'm gonna tell you. I mean, we won the game, but... Winning the game is... I'm gonna be real, it's like... freaking taking candy from a baby at this point. We, we ain't gonna have any issues winning the game. Thanks for the corn. You little freak. Those, those are going into animals. Two value to every crop produced, but double the water cost. Somehow they gave me 26,000 fuel. That don't make any sense. <laughs> this game is just, it's just chaos. It's just absolute chaos. Don't need any of this. For some reason, my production dropped to 250,000 instead of uh, whatever the hell millions it was at previously. I won't ask any questions though, that's fine. It's not bugging me any in a lot of ways. These sunflowers are starting to bug me though, because they are in my way. 123,000 needed. I think I'm hitting this button too fast, man. I, I think I'm like missing resources now. Oh, it's so laggy. <laughs> it's so laggy. The wild part is like, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm definitely making the goal, never mind. 9 million a turn. There's my corn. I just need to... I just need the melter now. I'm not asking for much. Just looking for the melter. No animal on the farm. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get that uh, bonus sometime soon. We're making a lot of corn. It can be a lot of popcorn as long as we, we get ourselves a, a melter at some point. The problem is I got like 100 million cards in my inventory and the same like nine appear at the front for a reason that is unbeknownst to me. I'm sure that one of you knows the reason why. Because you're all a bunch of little losers. But 278 mil. There we go. Game over. <laughs> I suck. I'm the worst. Oh, the absolute worst to ever do it. I don't know, dude. What a game. Um, That's going to do it for this one. I got one more build that I want to try. And then, frankly, I don't know what else I'm going to do in this game. Um, So come back next time for my final, possibly final. I don't know. <laughs> it's really tough to give up uh, 50,000 views on every video that I post. But maybe you'll watch something else on my channel for once. What a, what a wild concept and idea. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.